Hi, my name is Bill Schaefer. Our book review today is of The Art of Seeing by Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley was born on July 26, 1894. He lived until November 22, 1963, and at his death he was considered one of the preeminent intellectuals of his time. Everyone in the English-speaking world has heard of one or two of the books he's written. He's most famous for Brave New World, Doors of Perception, and a number of other books. In 1942, he published The Art of Seeing. In this book, Aldous Huxley related his experience with being near blind and recovering his sight. When he was in high school, he had an illness and lost his sight. He was nearly blind for almost two or three years. After he recovered his sight, he realized he could not pursue a career in medicine, so he devoted himself to literature, and he became a famous writer. The Art of Seeing deals primarily with the author's experience with blindness and with recovery using the Bates Method. And this is the Bates Method, Better Eyesight Without Glasses, by William H. Bates. This book was published in the early 1900s and contains a series of eye exercises to help you improve your eyesight naturally. And this is what Aldous Huxley used to improve his eyesight. And this is what he talks about in the book. As one who works with his eyes for a living, as a digital artist and just living in the world and reading a lot of material, this book was fascinating to me and introduced a number of concepts that I had not thought of. A lot of these methods are controversial and they're not entirely supported today, but the book is still interesting reading and I find it has some value and merit. Here's some things I was unaware of. Before World War I, most people did not wear sunglasses and it was the World War I aviators that made wearing sunglasses popular and fashionable. And since that time in the Western world, we've all considered that we need to wear sunglasses when we go outside in the summertime. In the book, The Art of Seeing, Aldous Huxley maintains that we really do not need to wear prescription glasses and that wearing prescription glasses causes our eyes to become weaker and weaker. So we need a stronger and stronger prescription. And the entire industry is set up to keep us buying glasses and buying more glasses for the rest of our lives. Whether this is true or not, I do not know. I have glasses that I use for seeing far away, for lectures in an auditorium, or for driving at night. Now, there are two exercises that I use a lot. And if you work with your eyes or work at a monitor, you might like to use these exercises to relax and refresh your eyes. The first exercise involves seeing close and far. And the way it goes is you, is you go to a big open space, like a field outside, and you hold up, you hold a pencil in front of your eye and you focus on the tip of the pencil and then you focus in the distance and then you focus on the tip of the pencil and then you focus in the distance. This is the first exercise to strengthen the muscles of your eye to change focus and if you work at a constant focus that is not good for your eyes so you need to do this kind of exercise. The other exercise I like to do that he recommends for relaxing your eyes is you just take and make cups of your hands like this and you put them over your eyes and you just try and block out all the light that you can block out all the light and open your eyes and just relax your eye muscles as much as possible and stare into the blackness of your hands and just relax and sit there and relax And do that for a few moments and do, do that during the day. And that's a great eye exercise to relax when you're looking at a monitor a lot. And I recommend these two exercises that I read about in the book, The Art of Seeing. 
Another thing mentioned in the book that I found interesting was the author recommends going to see feature movies. That watching feature movies is good for your eyesight and strengthens your eyes. And the reason is, unlike watching television, the movie theater screen is big and you have to specifically look around the screen to see different details. And the time you spend in the theater looking at the screen and searching around is good exercise for your eyes. And lastly, the author talks about the psychology of seeing. And he makes the note that there's a correspondence between personality and psychological mindset and a person's vision. And in popular literature, we use the word to see, meaning to understand. But the one correlation I really liked is that myopic people, we use the same word for people that are nearsighted and people that have myopic personalities that are only concerned about themselves and the effect on themselves and the influence on themselves. If you're interested in sight and seeing, if you're interested in improving your own vision, if you work with your eyes, you will want to read The Art of Seeing. It's an enjoyable and informative book. I learned a lot from it, and it made me think about things I was unaware of. Therefore, I heartily recommend The Art of Seeing by Aldous Huxley. Please leave your comments below. Have a great day, and thank you.